Hello and welcome to NBC News. You are watching English Bulletin with me, Ratnagar. The news in detail. In yet another proactive action, the squad of Markapur police on a Monday arrested 11 suspect Atish Harichavan of fake sports certificate syndicate from Nandir. Besides the second capital of the state, such complaints had surfaced in Aurangabad, Kolapur, Sangri and Sattara. This scam had begun in Nagpur back in 2016 and 17 when the deputy director got the power to issue sports certificates. Around 26 beneficiaries of the Nagpur-based brackets are under the dark, which includes government officials already selected on this basis. Most of fake certificate holders have paid tipty amount and had never played such game for which they got the job. P.I. Krishna Shinde is leading the investigation into this scam, unearthing its every detail like how the certificates were prepared and procured. Through these fake certificates, candidates have been selected for senior level posts, which is alarming. Watoda police on Monday booked three members of Samgamwar family allegedly for abetting suicide of a 20-year-old man here last month. Roshan Vaskar Kire had ended his life by consuming poison at his flat in Falguni apartment on November 20. Cops had then registered an offence of accidental death and launched investigation in this connection. During the investigation, it has came to the force that Roshan was in a relationship with one Kiran Sangamwar and wanted to marry her. However, the girl's parent Kranti and Sanjay sought rupees 2 lakh from Roshan if he wanted to marry their daughter. Roshan was shocked by such demand. This was followed by severe mental trauma as the accused trio pressurized him to give away the money or else they will marry off the girl somewhere else. So coming to the repeated torture, Roshan ended his life, said Watoda police. CIL subsidiary Western Coalfield will enter into a joint venture with Orissa Mineral Development Corporation for peak production capacity of 75 million tons of coal. Its chairman and managing director Rajiv Armesh also said 20 more mines will be opened by 2023 and 24, which shall sustain the production level over 75 million tons. He added that WCL will enter into the joint venture with OMDC taking up five coal blocks in the Raigarh district on the Orissa Chhattisgarh border. WCL is planning for a peak production capacity of 75 million tons. We opened up 23 mines in the past six years and acquired 9,522 hectares land. We have achieved the highest ever coal production of 57.64 million tons in 2019 and 20, he said. Mishra is retiring on December 31st and will be replaced by Manoj Kumar. Currently, Kumar is the director of WCL. A sea of people erupted out on Sunday in Nagpur as they cut across political and social spectrum and came together to bid a tearful adieu to late M.G. Alias Babura Vaidya, eminent scholar, writer, journalist and a devotee, Swam Sevak of RSS. The first national spokesman of RSS was consigned to flames at Ambazari Ghat on Sunday. Dhananjay, his eldest son, performed the last ride. At Ambazari Ghat, a two-minute silence was observed to pay tribute to the departed soul. It was announced that a condolence meeting will be held at 6.30 p.m. on December 31st at Rishimba Ground Premises. Dr. Mohan Bhagwat, Sar Chalak of RSS, Anil Deshmukh, Home Minister of Maharashtra and Senior Leader of Nationalist Congress Party, Chandrasekhar Bhavan Pule, former Energy Minister and State General Secretary of Bharti Janta Party, Pravindar K. Emerson and other dignitaries paid their last respect to the scholar. Although temperature outside was chill, invitees at Sambhavana lawn of Kato Drol were soaked in warmth of kindness that flowed as Samir and Varsha tied the knot. The speciality of the event was that bride as well as the groom is deep and mute, and both were deserted in early age. But fate brought them to those steps of Shankar Baba Papalkar, who after adopting them, reared them and brought a new sunshine in their lives. Together with Papalkar Anil Deshmukh, Home Minister Maharashtra State, his wife Arti son Salil Deshmukh and Ravindu Thakre, Nagpur District Collector and wife Josna worked shoulder to shoulder as they graciously patronized the union of Varsha and Samir. While Deshmukh accepted responsibility of Varsha and performed her Kanyadan, Thakre was father-like figure for Samir. This is the 21st occasion when Papalkar has married off such underprivileged persons. 
Following 13 months old tenure, Sandeep Joshi Anamande resigned from the post of the mayor of Nagpur city. Dayashan Kativari will succeed Joshi as a new Nagpur mayor for the next 13 months. Joshi submitted his resignation letter to the Nagpur municipal chief Radha Krishnan B in a press conference organized on Monday. Besides, Joshi, Deputy Mayor Manisha Kote too submitted her resignation letter. Corporator Dayashankar Tiwari will succeed Joshi as a new mayor of Nagpur city, informed Sandeep Joshi in a press conference. Though there is, has been no confirmation from the post of Deputy Mayor, Joshi said that he will not contest the upcoming NMC elections. Responding to a media questions, Joshi clarified that he has no such plan. I am not going to leave the bar with the party and will be working as a responsible and dedicated party member, he added. Well, that's all from this bulletin. For more updates in and around the city, stay tuned with NBC News. Till then, Ratnakar says goodbye. Please take very good care of yourself and family. Keep watching NBC News. Sach Dikhai, Vinachupai.